Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Basics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download the popular mobile game Fishdom on your iPhone. So let's get started without further ado. First, make sure that your device is connected to a stable internet and then launch open your app store. Go to the search box and type in Fishdom. Search for the application and in the search result, look for the Fishdom application from Playrig. Now, as soon as you see this interface, tap on the get button now you'll be able to see your application downloading fishdom is known for its relaxing and visually appealing gameplay while the game is free to play it offers in-app purchases for virtual currency and power-ups fishdom can also be played offline which means you can enjoy the game without an internet connection however some features such as social interactions and event participations may require an internet connection. Wait until the application downloads and installs on your iPhone. Once it does, you can start playing the game right from your iPhone. How to download Fishdom application on your Android device. So let's get started. Launch open your Play Store and also make sure that your device is connected to a stable internet. Now go to the search box and type in Fishdom. Look for this application from Playrix and Tap on the install button to begin the download. Wait until the application is downloaded and installed on your Android device, which will only take a few minutes. Once it's done, tap on the play button to launch Open Fishdom on your Android device. How to sign in on Fishdom with Facebook. First, launch Open your Fishdom application and make sure that you're inside your main homepage. Once you are, Tap on the gear button at the top left hand corner. In the pop-up, tap on save progress. You'll be able to save your game's progress by signing in using one of the options. You can either sign in using your Google account, Apple account or Facebook account. To sign in with Facebook, make sure that you are already logged in with your Facebook account on this particular device. Now tap on sign in with Facebook in the display. Tap the continue button in order to end up in the website for Facebook. If you are already logged in to your Facebook account, you'll be able to see this open button. Tap on it and on the next page, tap the continue button to allow Fishdom to connect to Facebook. Wait for a few seconds and you should be able to log into Fishdom using your Facebook account. But remember that if you are not already logged in with your Facebook account using the Facebook app, you will need to type in your Facebook account's credential to log in to Fishdom. How to sign in on Fishdom with Google. So in order to do that, open up your Fishdom application on your device. Once you're inside this main homepage, tap on save progress. In the pop-up, you should be able to see sign in options. You can sign in using your Google account, Apple account, and Facebook account. To log in or sign in to Fishdom with Google, Tap on sign in with Google option. It'll then take you to a web browser. Here, go ahead and enter your email you'd like to associate with on Fishdom. You can also type in your phone number for your Google account. On the next field, type in your Google account's password. After doing so, go through the prompts till the end and you'll be able to log in to Fishdom with your Google account. You can tap on the play button to start playing how to update fishdom game on your iphone first go ahead and launch open your app store or your play store also make sure that your device is connected to a stable internet now go to the search box and then type in fishdom open up the fishdom application and then if you see an update button in this page instead of open simply tap on the update button to get the latest version of fishdom application on your iphone on your mobile device if you see an open button it means your application is up to date and you don't need to be doing that right now once the update is completed launch open the application by tapping the open button and you should be able to update fishdom application on your mobile device how to feed your fish in fishdom if you are looking for a way or a tip to feed your fish on fishdom then here is how you can do it first make sure that you've launched open your fishdom application and you're also logged into your account once you're on this page you should be able to see the fish feed icon at the bottom right hand corner simply tap on the icon and then you'll be able to feed your fish right away once you feed your fish you'll receive some coins and diamonds remember to feed your fish 
now and then for more reward. How to change your name in Fishdom. In order to do so, first, launch Open Your Fishdom application. Once you end up in the main homepage, tap on the gear button at the top left hand corner. In the expanded menu, tap on Change Name. Now, erase the current name and type in your new name. After you are done, Tap on OK. Now, you can close off this dialog box by tapping on the cross icon. And that is it. You have successfully changed your name in Fishdom. How to connect Fishdom to Facebook? To connect Fishdom to Facebook account, first, launch Open Your Fishdom application on your device. Once you're inside the main homepage, which looks like this, if you've already started playing the game, your main homepage should look like this. From the main homepage, first, go and tap on the gear button at the top left. Now, tap on Save Progress. In the pop-up, there should be three options displayed. You can sign in using your Google account, your Apple ID, or your existing Facebook account. To connect Fishdom to Facebook, Tap on Sign in with Facebook. In the pop-up, tap on Continue. Tap on the Open button to open up Fishdom in Facebook. If you're not logged into your Facebook account, you'll also need to log in using your Facebook credentials. Now, tap the Continue button and you'll be able to connect your Fishdom account to Facebook. How to turn off notifications on Fishdom using your iPhone. To disable notifications from your Fishdom application first, Launch Open Your Fishdom app and make sure that you are logged in using either your Google account, Apple ID, or your Facebook account. Once you're inside this main homepage, tap on the gear button at the top left hand corner. Now you'll be able to see the notifications button in the pop up. Tap on it in order to turn it off and make sure that your notification is labeled as off. And that is how you should be able to turn off notifications on Fishdom. How to change language on Fishdom. If you want to change your language settings on your Fishdom application, then here's how you can do it. Start off by launching open your Fishdom application on your preferred device. After you are done, tap on the gear icon at the top left hand corner. In the pop-up, tap on the change language option right under change name. You can select from the language options displayed on the screen. Choose your preferred language you would want to change to and tap on the box right in front of the language. Now tap on OK and you have successfully changed language on your Fishdom application using your mobile device. How to save progress on Fishdom If you want to save your in-game progress on Fishdom then all you have to do is connect to one of the supported social networks. Simply launch open your Fishdom application and make sure that you're inside this page. From the main home page, tap on the gear button at the top left. Now in the pop-up, tap on save progress. To save your progress on Fishdom, all you need to do is to connect to one of the supported social networks. In this case, there are three social networks available that you can save your progress to. You can sign into your Fishdom account using Google, Apple or Facebook. Go ahead and select any one sign-in option. In my case, I'm going to choose the Google option. Let me just tap on it and this will take me to this new page. Here, you can choose one of your Google account that is already connected or Use another account by tapping on this next option. Now type in your email or phone number associated with your Google account. Tap on the next button and on the next field, type in your correct password. Again, tap the next button and this will be able to sign you in to Fishdom. And now you'll be able to save your game progress automatically. How to turn off vibration on Fishdom. So without further ado, Let's get straight to the video. Launch open your Fishdom application on your preferred device. Once you're inside this main homepage, after logging into your account, tap on the gear button at the top left hand corner. Now, in the pop-up, you should be able to see a mobile icon with vibration enabled in it. Tap on it and you'll be able to turn off vibration on your Fishdom application. How to sign out of Fishdom If you want to log out or sign out of the Fishdom account you are signed in with, then the process is quite easy. First, go ahead and launch open your Fishdom application and make sure that you're inside this page. Now, from the main homepage, tap on the gear button at the top left hand corner. In the pop-up, tap on Save 
progress. You'll be able to see a sign out button for that account you are currently logged in with. Since I've been logged in with my Facebook account, it is showing me the sign out of Facebook option. If you are logged in with your Google account or your Apple ID, you'll be able to see the sign out button in the Google and Apple ID option as well. To sign out of your account, tap the sign out button and you'll be able to sign out of Fishdom. Be aware that logging out of your Facebook account may result in the loss of your current game progress and you may need to start over or log in with a different account. So, to avoid unintended data loss, make sure to sign in using one of your Google accounts, Apple ID or Facebook. How to delete Fishdom account. If you want to get rid of your Fishdom account and you don't know how, then here is how you can do it. First, launch Open Your Fish Dump application on your mobile device. Once you end up in this main homepage, tap on the play button. Once you've started playing the game, tap on the gear button at the top left hand corner. Now, in the option, tap on the eye icon at the bottom. Here in this page, you'll be able to delete your account. Tap the delete account button in red and go through the information first. If you want to continue delete your account, all of your account's data will be deleted including your purchases in the game, the game's process and your account. Deleting your account takes 15 days after you make the request. Tap the continue button in order to continue deleting the account. If you ever wish to return to the game within the 15 days, the deletion of your account will be cancelled. So click the continue button if you are sure you'd like to delete your account and tap on delete again. And you've successfully submitted your delete account request for Fishdom. Tap on OK and that is how you should be able to delete Fishdom account. Remember that if you get logged into your Fishdom account again within the 15 days period, you'll be able to cancel your deletion. If you found the video to be helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye till then.